Rejoice. You curse the darkness. The eyes and ears of the warrior poet returns. And just in time for the gathering crowd. Were you able to locate the arch cannon's signet? Continue to guard it, for it represents not only my loyal servant Tarvis, but also the past and future of my priesthood. And take this as well, to aid you in your next task. You have been my eyes and ears in the world. Now be my hands. Within the modest sack resides gifts for my faithful servants. Blessings from me, though I would have you deliver them. You served me in adversity. Now join me in celebration. As I call forth my faithful, reach into the sack and give them the first thing you find. They shall hear my words of praise and gratitude, while it shall be your hand that rewards them. Are you ready, friend of Vivek? Overseer Shiralas, step forth. Overseer Shiralas, you sacrificed your blessing stones to aid the warrior poet. Well done. Take these recharged stones and finish building my city. After relaxing with your patient wife. Thank you, Lord Vivek. I shall do as you ask. Barrels up. Approach. Your knowledge of the mysteries of my brother Sotha Seal and the intricate twists and turns of portal magic were invaluable. Take this and use it well to further your experiments. Gemstones filled with a tiny fraction of divine energy. Amazing and so very generous. With careful tuning, this could improve portal magic a hundredfold. Thank you. Canon Levul. Kneel before me. Was that... Did Lord Vivek summon me? Archcanon Tarvis served us well until his death. But when I was most in need of assistance, Canon Levul rose to the occasion. Now rise once more as Archcanon Levul. My lord... I'm not worthy, but I shall endeavor to become so. Thank you, and I can't wait to inform my ancestors. In every poem, it's the last stanza that holds the most meaning. Once a stranger to our land, now a friend forever. Step forward. You come before me with an empty sack. But have no fear. As I have written, treat your enemies well, and your friends even better. Know that I consider you to be a very good friend. Will you accept the honor I am about to bestow upon you? Then let it be known that from this moment forth, you shall be called the Champion of Vivek. And along with my thanks, take this modest reward. I foresee even greater achievements in your future. But for now, be content to be the hero of Morrowind. Now go forth and rejoice. A poet shall write of your deeds in story and song, my friend. You will be remembered for your service to Vardenfell. Now go, see the wonders of our great land. There are others who need your help. Of that I am certain.